Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's about to get very interesting on FIBA 23 in relation to footies. Footies Team 4 going out of packs. The best of batch number 2 with the Messi, with the De Bruyne, with the Benzema going out of packs. A lot of SBCs are also expiring and it all comes down to this Friday on FIFA 23. What are we going to have in packs? What cover star icon are we going to get? There's a couple of really massive icons that still could be getting cards. We're going to break it all down in today's video, get you guys prepared, and just talk about what might be happening this Friday for maybe sort of the end of footies as we approach the end of August, the end of the footy season. A lot to talk about today. We're going to theorize just a little bit for what's coming next, but also we're going to talk about what's happening in here and now with today, Wednesday content. We've got a player pick SBC that's expired. Firing. Could it refresh? Could we get a player SBC today that we voted on on Instagram a couple days ago on EA's account? I think it's very likely that we will. So if you're excited for it today, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you are new. And let's quickly go back into yesterday's content because as kind of expected, it was a pretty quiet day, right? We had two SBCs and that's really it. But one of them we knew was coming. So really, it wasn't even that big of a surprise. The Shevchenko cover star icon SBC. They gave him five star skills. I'm very happy about that one. Five star, four star, high, high work grades. Absolutely incredible boost on the stats of the card. Just like they've been doing with every single one of these cover star icons. EA does it again. And not only do they release a great card with the finesse shot, speed dribbler, with the five star, four star, with the great stats, easily completable. Just making an icon that is not normally usable in FIFA usable, they did it for an, a tremendous price of 150,000 coins. An absolute W of an SBC. If you want to get this one done, make sure, of course, you do the loan squad. It only requires silvers, which is very nice, but make sure you get that one done if that interests you. Um, but for sure, get the loan squad done. So that's a W. GG's to EA 100% for that. And then the 87 plus player pick re-released but with different requirements it's 30,000 coins to do which you can look at from a pure coin perspective and be like wait you need like a 91 or a 92 rated player to technically break even or make money off of this SBC for the fodder value that you're getting back they changed the requirements guys uh, and this is one for me that you know, it could go both sides of the, of the coin, right? Some people liked it when it was lower rated, but it required a team of the week or team of the season. And other people like it better now because it does not require a team of the week or the team of the season, but it still requires an 84 rated squad. So they increased the rating, but they dropped the team of the week requirement. And so for me, you know, it's decent, right? I kind of enjoyed the team of the week requirement inside of this and the lower rated squad now that I think about it because the 82s that were in my club needed a place to go. And that was a very easy place that they could have gone. But still, regardless... That's a fun player pick. I'm not expecting to get anything insane from it. If you're opening it, I wouldn't expect to get anything insane either. But it's a decent player pick that is out right now. And, um, you know, it gives you a chance at packing the best of cards, the footies cards. So it's okay. Let's be completely honest. Now, with that content being released and it not being that massive of a day in terms of content, a lot of fodder prices did drop. Team of the Weeks, yeah, they were like 25, 26K yesterday. They're 20,000 coins now. Team of the Seasons are down in value as well just because there weren't many new SBCs that people were doing that drove the demand for these up, right? That's the reason that these went down. You had more supply from people doing the Team of the Week repeatable and tradable SBC, putting these cards on the market, probably some investors selling them as well as the prices were not going to go up because the content wasn't that good. And prices on Team of the Weeks and Team of the Seasons are back down, not a crazy amount, but just a little bit. We're going to talk about fodder a little bit more in relation to investing in the later part of the video. But before we do that, we do need to look at the fodder that moved yesterday because of that 87 plus player pick. We mentioned in yesterday's video, 83 rated. Guys, 83 rated were absolute bank. They made big time money for those of you who invested in them yesterday. 1.2K for a lot of these 83 rated cards all the way above 2,000 coins at content yesterday because of that 84 rated squad that was required for the 87 plus player pick and the fact that we could do it four times per day. That's why the 83s and the 84s yesterday really did bits. If you take a look at their prices, a lot of 84s were below uh, the low 2K range, 2.5, 2.4K. These went all the way to like 4,000 coins for most of them. Some of them even selling at 5K for 84s. So big rises on that lower tier of the fodder market. Again, the higher tier just hasn't been moving as much since a lot of the demand is on that lower tier. That's the cards that people need to go and complete a lot of these SBCs. That's what moved the most. Now, we're going to talk about fodder a little bit later in the video, but 
to get to the point of what we're really on about today, let's talk about footies, guys. This is the main conversation for today's video because we're in this limbo point. And I want to talk about this a couple days ahead of time because we've kind of been in this cycle where it's two weeks of the batches, right? Batch one was in packs for two weeks. Batch two was in packs for two weeks. We had a footies team one, two, three, and four. But now we're getting towards the end. I really think we're in the final last two weeks of footies, guys, because of everything that is expiring. It would just make sense, first of all, for footies to be two weeks longer. And why is that? Well, you kind of just kind of see that with the objectives. The timing of the season, 15 days left of season eight. That would mean that it would expire next, not next Thursday, but the Thursday after that. And the season would reset and footies would also probably be ending on that Friday, the day after the new season would come out and that season eight of footies would end. So that's kind of my prediction. Two weeks left of footies. Now for what's going to happen next with what's in packs, that's the biggest question because we've had four different footies teams for the footies cards and packs. And I don't know about you guys, but I would love to have another chance at packing some of the players that have already been released, uh, like the Mbappe, the Messi. Um, I searched a premium footies Mbappe. I meant to search a premium footies Messi. I would love another chance at a Messi card in packs or a Ronaldo card in packs to actually have an opportunity to get them again. Except for, you know, we've had the 90 plus SBC, the player pick. We've had some of the other player picks that give out these cards, but it's not quite the same as them actually being in packs. Could EA keep going with releasing a team five and a team six of footies with like a 99 rated Jude Bellingham or a 99 rated Erling Holland in packs? They absolutely could. But I hope they go the route of starting to re-release these cards. Wow, Mbappe is under 9 mil, 8.7 mil. So some of these prices, especially on the footies that are in packs right now for Team 4, are dipping a little bit. That's the biggest unknown for me about this Friday and the next two Fridays in general is, uh, what is EA going to do with the footies cards? Because are they going to bring new ones out? Or are they going to just re-release the teams uh, that they have already put out? I could see something happening on the, along the lines where they release footies team one and two back into packs this Friday. So you have the Messi and the Ronaldo. And then maybe the next week after that, they end up doing batches three and four uh, back into packs of the footies cards. And they do that that way. So that's not a guarantee. That's just kind of my thoughts on the situation. They could, of course, very easily as well, put new footies cards into packs. Now, something that's going to affect a lot more of us than actually pack in the footies cards because man i'll say it that mbappe the lucio they're tough to pack i've seen you guys some of you have been tweeting me some insane pack pulls but it is tough to pack these cards even like i haven't even hit oblock or gravenberg yet and i feel like everybody else has but the real big question is team of the season cards back in packs best of batch number three we're ready for team of the seasons to be back in packs we're also ready for probably some shapeshifters to be in packs as well guys i think that's going to happen that's probably like one of the most sure things about what is coming next to footies is a re-release with the best of including actually some of the best of cards that we have seen recently now i don't know if they're going to release the level up cards in packs as a part of batch three they might stop at shapeshifters because the level ups were kind of specific to the objectives right now was a whole promo to itself but we have not had team of the season cards in packs guys we've been waiting for this and we've been looking towards batch three even some of the trophy titans we haven't had a ton of trophy titans in packs i know we have foot birthdays and stuff like that and uh, we had the foot birthday icons. I don't even know if there's any trophy Titans icons that are in packs right now or um, heroes even. Um, I don't know even know if there are. I'm trying to think about what's in batch two. I don't think I've packed one. But maybe those will be included with team of the seasons inside of batch number three. That's the biggest guarantee that's coming this Friday is a batch number three of cards that are in packs. Now, once again, to prepare ahead of time for this, if you own any of these insane or even not that insane but some of these like shapeshifter cards or some of these tots cards that still carry a pretty hefty coin balance even if they're really rare like some of these shapeshifter cards like usman dembele or frankie de young anthony martial as shapeshifter cards that have been out of packs now for a considerable amount of time if ea re-released these in packs you guys know what's happening right their prices are getting destroyed so i'm telling you right now this is again one little bit of a heads up these prices have been dropping on some of the cards a little bit as people get prepared for this i would just say be careful if there's a card that you have in your team maybe if it's even like a guy like zaha a guy like zaha is a premium footies card 120,000 coins he's probably going to end up being like 50 or 60k if re-released back into packs just because he's going to get packed so 
much. So that's your word of warning. There could be some uh, of these getting re-released or there probably is going to be some of these re-released and that's going to impact their prices a lot. Mbappe was just a 99 rated footies card. I would imagine he's not going to be in packs this next week. So either the award winner version of Mbappe or the TOTS version is probably going to be in packs and that would definitely make um, either one of those cards drop or all the Mbappe cards on the market take a dip in price because of that team of the season or award winner getting cheaper so sell ahead if you're worried about losing coins and if you want to try to save yourself some coins in the end game but also it's not that deep because it is the end game and of course um use the cards that you want to use and enjoy the cards that you want to enjoy now let's talk about some other things going on with content right because every friday we've been getting a cover star icon we've covered the stuff that's in packs we got to cover the sbcs right we've had really great cover star icons rooney has been a, bit, a little bit expensive but we have had the dino right we've had the carlos we've had the Javi alonzo the shevchenko of course we had the objective for skulls we've had some really good ones rui costa as well there are a couple icons that, you know, Dino was massive, right? The Ronald Dino card, absolutely insane. Five, six million coin SBC, kind of the one that everybody is like chasing and crafting or trying to work towards right now in this game. But there's an icon that could equal or top that Ronaldinho as well because there's a big name icon that's been on a FIFA cover before and if EA really want to go all out this is actually the time of the year last year where we had a moments version of this icon released as an SBC and yes it is this mad lad R9. R9 was on the icon edition of FIFA 18. I don't know if you guys got this version. I didn't get this version of FIFA 18. I had the regular standard version, but this was the cover in FIFA 18. Ronaldo was on the regular cover and R9 was on the icon edition cover. So that's just an example. Like if EA were to drop a R9 SBC, which they have not dropped one all year long, this would be the time to do it. Like, like I mentioned, the moments R9 SBC dropped last year, I believe, like on August 14th or 15th or whatever it was, somewhere along those lines. And that's kind of where we are right now at this stage of the year in footies. I mean, imagine, imagine an R9 SBC at this stage of the game. Is it, um, what is the Trophy Titans R9? 97 rated. Imagine a 98 or maybe even a 99 R9 that is an SBC's. It would be stupid expensive just like Ronaldinho was, but it would be absolutely insane and a lot of people would want to go after it. So I'm not saying that is a leak. That is not a leak 100% because if uh, if you guys remember the last couple of weeks, the um, players that are released as cover star icons have all been leaked beforehand. This is just a prediction. I'm saying it's a possibility. Watch Foot Scoreboard on Twitter. Uh, watch Sheriff. Watch those guys because they will be tweeting out who's actually going to be getting in um, because they will probably know ahead of time. A couple other names for icons that could be involved. Thierry Henry, Del Piero off of the FIFA 2004 cover. Very possible for Thierry Henry since he didn't get very many icon cards this year. Again, he had the shapeshifters, which wasn't that long ago. Um, Del Piero had the trophy Titans. Patrick Vieira had the trophy Titans as well. He could be getting uh, a card as a part of a cover star icon release as well. Um, I know we just had the Vieira um, SBC for trophy Titans, so his is probably not going to be the one that would get re-released but hey i mean there is potential i think the Vieira sbc might even still be out um maybe it's not i definitely didn't do it it's de it's not out anymore because he was definitely in here and that was a crazy sbc that a lot of people wanted to do it's not there anymore but um you know those are all potential icons that could be re-released as cover stars i think r9 would be the craziest i think kaka as well is another one that'd be like multiple kaka sbcs in the same year they did do that with jarzinho though right we had the mid jarzinho that everybody did and we had the full birthday so who knows about that cover star icon but there is a lot of potential and uh yeah again guys i think batch three is going to be coming this friday and we'll probably see more leaks more information but i wanted to talk about it today just to kind of set the stage for you guys because Again, like we said, a lot of the SBCs for the players and even some of the upgrade packs. Look at all these that are expiring on Friday. Yorente, Cahill, Harry Kuehl, um, Joe Cole, Hyunmin's son. All these SBCs are expiring on Friday. Even if you look at some of the upgrade packs, a few of them are, are sticking around, which will be very nice for that. But like the footies, best of, uh, the draft tokens going away. The 82 times 100 is still going to be around. Wow, that's actually really crazy. Imagine doing an 82 times 100 for bat, uh, best of batch three and then the new footies cards either re-released or team five in packs uh so again sell some cards if you want to prepare get them out and just kind of maybe even start saving some packs if you really are not happy with what's in packs right now and you don't want to grind it all out and um, open the packs every day if you want to save your 85 times tens or you want to save player picks 
Maybe you want to save some of the crafting upgrades, right? That you're doing and crafting the uh, Nani right now in that crafting objective. These are really, really good upgrade packs. They're out for 16 days, so you really wouldn't have to save any. You could just do them all at once. But if you want to stack up some packs just for the fun of stacking them up, that is there as well. But I want to talk about that because, again, there's a lot of hype that could be coming with all of this stuff and also one thing i mentioned as well the ea website which this is like glitched out for the first two weeks of footies it's finally fixed now they do confirm a couple of these things they say several batches which of course you would think would be more than two and then also down here some people were asking about xp right the final week of season eight will be a double xp week so not this week but next week uh, or sorry, not even this this not even this coming week for like team five of footies, if you will, if that were to drop. But the week after that, the final week of the season will be a double XP week, which uh, some people are going to be able to get Vinicius Jr. and get level 40 as soon as tomorrow on Thursday. That's going to be the earliest day you'll be able to get that card. Uh, Thursday will be Vinny Day for a lot of people. That'll be very, very exciting. But there's nothing else in here that really talks about how many weeks of footies or what they're going to be doing or anything along those lines, except for the double XP week, and there's going to be multiple re-releases in batches. So, with that being said, let me know down in the comments, what do you think EA will do? What do you think EA should do? Again, like I mentioned, I would be super happy if they didn't release any more cards, and just allowed us to try to chase after some of these premium footies, some of these footies cards that have been released in packs. Once again, the Messi specifically, I would love to try to pack this card right now. This is the card that I'm chasing, right? I'm crafting it in the 90 plus player picks with all the extra fodder that I get to try to at least have a chance at any of the 99 rated footies cards that have been dropped. And that's what's motiv motivating me right now on this game. Now, let's talk about today just a little bit because yeah, today is also a decent day of content that could be happening. Remember last week, we got really excited for the 93 plus tots or sorry there's no tots in this one the 93 plus shapeshifter or footies player pick to come back and ea just said nah we're not going to release it we're going to wait till friday i hope this thing's come back comes back today unless ea is really trying to not make today again a really hype day on this game this sbc might not come back today it also could and that's where i want to talk a little bit about sbc fodder once again and investing in it as we saw team of the season cards team of the week cards down big time in value if they release this 93 plus shapeshifter or footies player pick again, it does require a team of the week or a team of the season in the highest rated 88 rated squad. And in that case, I would expect team of the seasons to probably have the biggest movement because those are the highest rated or at least some of the highest rated cards compared to team of the weeks. And it would probably move these cards and the higher rated team of the weeks the most. So if you want to do anything a little bit gambly risky today in terms of the market, if you're trying to make some coins, try to get some like, again, 91, 92 rated team of the season cards. Those are the best ones to buy, in my opinion, just because they get listed here at the minimum. Uh, like you'll see, it's a lot of 88s and 89s, but then you'll see 90 and 91 rated team of the season cards get listed here as the cheapest tots cards, as people just see you know what the lowest price in the market is for these tots and they'll list them up at that price um, maybe you buy a couple of those if you want to risk it today because if we get that 93 plus refreshed and if it's especially if it's completable multiple times if it's completable like two times today um any anything more than just once then i think there'll be some upward trending on those prices right there and maybe some of your like 86s 85s and maybe even 87s on the market in terms of golds those could move today, but it's only if that 93 plus refresh comes back. Now, I'm not going to gamble on it. I'm going to do the 85 times 10. And if that 93 plus comes back out, maybe I will craft it through the 85 times 10s. Now, also today, we're going to finally get another footies SBC. We've been getting a lot of icons, right? Well, EA is going to drop us another player SBC today, we do believe, because the vote that was released on Monday talked about a 99 passing or physical center mid so we should hopefully get an emotional player today that has 99 i think passing guys i think people would prioritize passing the way the voting looked on that passing is probably the one that ended up winning and we should be getting a player sbc today for a footies premium or a regular footies card and uh man again like we mentioned podolski shakiri have been those voted on sbcs uh that they have dropped I will bid for an emotional center mid. I don't know. Think in your mind of like nine Golan. Imagine a premium footies nine Golan. That would be phenomenal, right? That would be a perfect example of a footies SBC 
that we would want EA to drop right now in this game. And what would happen if Nine Golan was released? Well, he's in the Serie B, so not a lot of links would go up for him. He would have to be premium. Maybe guys like KDB, maybe Team of the Year Courtois would move a little bit, some of those Belgium links. But that would be a phenomenal card, right? Or maybe even like Fred. Fred could be kind of like an emotional, fun you know, if they gave Fred 99 passing, you know, that'd be an interesting SBC. So many different center midfielders they could release. I really hope they drop a big SBC today in terms of a big name, emotional player, and then make it a really cheap price. And again, fodder could be a place that you look today that could move a little bit if all that SBC content is really good. Now, last thing for today on a Wednesday. Remember last Wednesday we had Ant-Man, right? EA's been loving these play on the, the names of these players. We've had Ant-Man, we've had um, so many different players recently, especially during footies, that they've had fun with, with these player names. Who's gonna be next today? I would expect another kind of like free XP objective drop today on Wednesday as well. What I'll tell you is watch Twitter because all of those have been leaked previously by Foot Sheriff and some of the guys that leak cards before they drop on this game. So definitely keep an eye out there on potentially a free, if you will, SBC player coming today through the objectives and maybe even a little bit of XP involved with it as well. Good luck with the grind right now. I'm four segments through or four uh, objective segments through the Nani. I'm halfway through. I'm on 19 of 20 completions. Got to get to that 35. The craft right now in this game is so easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. And I think it's super duper worth it with the bronze silver and gold upgrades and then of course the 85 times 10 haven't hit anything massive from it yet but we're still trying to hit an mbappe alaba lucio or any one of those insane cards even team of the years i haven't hit team of the year messi i would love to hit a team of the year messi so i'm still opening all of those but watch out for some leaks today guys and hopefully ea bring back some good content today on a wednesday if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nathan with count see you guys this stream today peace